Yeah. So, oh. Oh. This is probably not really a space, but we are in the space. I hope players are getting bored over here. Let's get straight into this and rate the ground. Right, hello everyone and welcome to this new video on the channel. So today is Tuesday the 19th of March 2024. And today we've got game number 81 of the 23-24 season on the channel. So we've got five grounds to tick off in the NCEL Division 1. And today we're going to tick one more off of that list. When station view, we've got West Riding County Cup quarterfinal action and a local North Yorkshire derby. We've got Harrogate Railway Athletic versus Nairsborough Town. So in today's video, we've got my thoughts pre-halftime and post-match as well as a match day vlog itself. And then with it being a new ground on the channel, we're going to rate the ground as well. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So before we make our way down to Harrogate, we've got some facts, stats and pre-match thoughts on both teams. So we're going to start off with the league table. So we've got NCEL Division 1 versus NCEL Premier Division. So starting with Harrogate Railway, they are currently in 12th place. Uh, 23 teams in NCL Division 1 and they've not really got a lot to play for, they can't really make the playoffs but they're in no danger of going down either. Whereas Nairsborough, they're currently in 8th place out of 20 teams in NCL Premier Division, the step above Harrogate. Um, so they can still make the playoffs but it is going to be a bit of a step too far in my opinion. However, you can never say never really, can you? I'm moving into form then, so Harrogate's last result was a thumping of bottom place Allerton Town by 7 goals to nil, so they're currently unbeaten in 4 matches, of which they have won 3 of them 4, and they've actually scored a whopping 19 goals in them 4 matches. And as for Nairsborough, I said they haven't got much chance to make the playoffs, but they are moving rather nicely at the minute, and the last result was a huge one, beating 2nd place champion at their place by a goal to nil. Uh, so they have won the last 4 as well, but they did lose the four before that. So it's been somewhat of a disappointing season for Harrogate, in my opinion. They came second last season, um, and they pushed Campion all the way, to be fair. And then they lost in the semi-final of the playoffs at home to Horbury Town by a goal to nil. Um, and it sounds like they did lose quite a few players after that, uh, because they had a good season, and... Obviously, when that happens and you don't go up, your players do get poached. Um, but the start of the season, well, to be fair, winning four out of the first five games, the other one being a draw to Redford United. Uh, but they've kind of slipped away after that, though, to be fair. Whereas Nairsborough did finish in 10th last season, so only two places away from the R now. So a similar season so far. But we were a bit like Harrogate, to be fair, at the start of this season. We had a flying start getting to the top of the table. They won the first six matches. Uh, but then the haven't really hit the same form since and we have slid down the table so like i said this is the west riding county cup for remember we're currently in the quarterfinal stage with both teams playing two rounds previous to this so with harrogate they had both the matches at home in the first round beat armfort welfare by four goals to one and then a win against national league side halifax town by four goals goals to nil in the second round Nairsborough also played their first two rounds at home as well. In the first round, they had a close game where they won 3-2 against Route 1 Rovers. And then in the second round, they had a more comfortable win with a 3-0 victory over Goal. So obviously, with these two teams being in different divisions, they haven't played each other in the season so far. However, they did have a pre-season friendly against each other at Harrogate Railway, which Nairsborough won by three goals to nil. So I think that brings me nicely on to my prediction then. So which team are going to win this North Yorkshire derby? and go through to the semi-finals. My prediction is... I think there's going to be goals. I think it's going to be an entertaining one, a pretty open game with plenty of goals. And I think it's going to be Nairsborough who nick it. So I'm going to go for Harrogate Railway Athletic 2, Nairsborough Town 3. Anyway, that is all for my pre-match thoughts then. So we'll be ticking off my 114th ground in total. And after this, we'll only have four more grounds to do in the NCEL Division 1. So we've got Glass Out and Welfare, Yorkshire Amateur, Beverly Town and Claycross Town still to do. So let me know in the comments which one should I visit next. But anyway, until then, we have got a game to focus on today. So let's head on back to Station View and see how today's game goes.
perks of Adam having a little car. This is probably not really a space, but we are in the space. That's what matters. I have to get out, but we're in. Well done, babe. Top parking. Right, so I'm sure you've just seen that video of uh, my fantastic parking. Looks like we've just got the last parking space as well. But we have arrived at Harrogate <laughs> Railway. <laughs> oh, so, um, <laughs> yeah, like I say, um, someone just came past and said there weren't any spaces. I thought, nah, worth an opportunity to practice some parking. So, anyway, let's get inside and see what Harrogate Railway is all about. That was no noise. And we're out. Yes. Um, no They're good, wasn't it? Oh. If Adam's only got four guys to complete in this league, he's obviously got the Broncos league. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. So. Oh, I did Mr. Mayfield. <laughs> Come out firing to be fair. I went last week, I think. Went last week? Respectful restoration of the historic building. Yeah. Weather spoons do do that quite well. I'm gonna say. <laughs> oh! Oh, it's in. Oh yeah, the kids' balls on pitch. <laughs> It's multi ball ref, you've got to disallow it. <laughs> <laughs> 2 0 already? <laughs> Give him a pass for a tenner. Oh, oh wow. They are good at that. Oh, they've got oh, Hannah playing. Freda. Yeah. If Hannah's. Oh, sure. Oh, 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 players are getting called over here. Literally shouted for him to come here. See what this is about. Oh my god! Come on, come on, Come on, come on. Oh! Yeah! Nice. Game on. <laughs> That's it now. Game on. We need it one before half time. Changes the team talk, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm missing about that. We, we got him. <laughs> oh, it's gone all the way. Walk it. <laughs> I know it's mad, and they played at our ground for a bit, didn't they? Do it, have to go a long way. No, I get you. Oh. Yeah, 
Should I go and try for a bit? Go do it. I think I'd like to okay. Five one. God, five one even really. <laughs> yeah. oh, okay, so the second half's just kicked off. It's currently Harrogate one, Nesbury five, and Nesbury's just dominated to be fair. Harrogate's gate a good go, but um seems to be a goal thing quality between the two seat teams and Nesbury just seems to be a lot better at the minute. Um, yeah, that's all there is to it really. Nesbury's a lot good we came out storming three and up in about fifteen minutes and just carried on from there really. Um so yeah, game's pretty much over, but you can tell Harrogate's gonna fight till the end, so 5-1 going into the second half. I get the impression that a lot of players move from Harrogate to Everett. Yeah, I know. Oh, oh, good save. I'm having a nice time. Yeah. Oh, oh. I'm not sure I'm that bothered about going to club outside. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh. Full time 6 1 at 2 Nesbury. Is it 6? Nesbury are into the semi finals. I didn't even realise it was 6. Mm -hmm. You'll Thank see that one, Right, so I've just got back from Harrogate, now back in Gainsborough. So, saw a pretty good game there to be fair. Uh, so, the final score was Harrogate Railway Athletic 1, Nesbury Town 6. And I'll be completely honest with that, the, um, the game was pretty much done in the first half. It was 5 1 at half time. And as I said, um, Nesbury were pretty dominant, to be fair. Uh, Harrogate gave them a good run for money, and they uh, put pressure on them, and um, definitely, you know, could have easily, especially 3 nil down after about 15 or 20 minutes, they could have easily, you know, let the heads drop, but they definitely didn't. They stuck in there, and they kept fighting, and they got a goal back, um, uh, but, like I say, ne Nesbury just showed why they're a division above, why they've won four in a row in division above, and... Um, just show the quality at the end of the day and uh, went into half time 5 1. And then, second half, the game, like I say, result were pretty much there. Not a great deal happened to fair. There were a fair few attacks, but not a lot of them product at the end of it. And Nesbury got a sixth goal just before uh, the 90 minutes were up. Um, and yeah, apart from that, uh, yeah, the second half were pretty quiet to be fair, but it was a good game. First half were absolutely superb, just back and forth. And yeah, good game in front of a very good crowd. I mean, Nesborough is literally, you know, a few miles up the road. Um, you know, they brought a fair few fans, Harrogate, they all came out. And um, yeah, good night all in all. Um, good to finally tick Harrogate Railway off as well. Uh, surprisingly, not as far as I thought it'd be to get there, but, you know, so I kind of thought that I'd probably be the last one I'd do, but... Nevertheless, here we are. So we've got four more now to do in NCL Division 1. So, like I said in the intro, so we've got Beverly to go, uh, Clay Cross, Yorkshire Amateur, and uh, Glass Out and Welfare. So let me know down in the comments which one should I do next. Anyway, um, that is, um, like I say, the end of this match day vlog. So I guess all there is now to do is rate the ground. Okay, so with Rate the Ground, if you're new to the channel, what we'll do is with each ground, we'll give them a rating on five categories. So we've got pre-match, the catering, the ground, the atmosphere, and the overall enjoyment, all equivalent to the level it's at, which is a step six or the tenth tier of English football. So all of them categories are getting a rating at five and then put into a table with a total score out of 25 with all the other grounds we've been to this season. So... This time is a turn of Harrogate Railway Athletic, so without further ado, let's get straight into this and rate the ground. 
So we're going to start off with pre-match then. So what is there to do before the match itself? So with non-league grounds, this is mainly going to be the clubhouse. And when we first got there, we didn't think we were a clubhouse. We kind of had a look around, couldn't really see one. Uh, we could see like building that the players were in, but we didn't realise that were the clubhouse as well upstairs. Um, so the food place for Tottenham to, to get to it. So we had to go back out and into it. And it's a lovely, lovely, lovely clubhouse upstairs. Um, plenty of space, uh, a really good bar as well. Plenty of seating. Uh, didn't struggle to get a seat at all. And um, yeah, I mean, there were plenty of people there, but you didn't really seem to be queuing that much either. And um, yeah, pretty pretty good in my opinion. Um, I gave Lyle for three and a half. Uh, last Saturday, I feel like this is a bit better, so I'm going to give it a bit better rating. I'm going to go what four out of five for the pre-match. And just sign out on pre-match as well. Um, I know it's usually the clubhouse, but also there are plenty of pubs around on the main street as well, so you've got that to add on as well as the clubhouse. Next up, we've got catering, and um, pretty impressed with that. In fact, very, very impressed to be completely honest with you. Um, I got a sausage roll for food, which actually tasted really nice. Um, whereas my girlfriend, she got a um, a pie from the uh, food truck, which um, I had a try of that as well. It was absolutely delicious, which were uh, coated in mint sauce as well. Uh, pie was only three pound as well, which is a pretty much a bargain. And then we got uh, two pints and a sausage roll for nine thirty, which, like I say, price really good. Didn't really have to queue much as well. Staff were nice and friendly. Uh, plenty of options of drink. Plenty of options of food. It's going to get a pretty good rate, isn't it? It's going to get a 4 out of 5 from me once again. Next up, we've got the ground. And I quite like this ground, to be fair. It is, uh, it's quirky. It's unique. I like how you've got, you know, a seated section behind the goal. And then you've got a few, you know, a few decent little stands in the round. Uh, you've got, like, a bit with, like, a few steps on so that you can, um, you're elevated above the pitch a bit. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. It's not, like, absolutely fantastic, but it's quirky. And I like a quirky ground, so... Pretty decent for the level to be fair, so I'm going to go 3 out of 5 for the ground. Next up we've got Atmosphere, and we're a decent crowd there to be fair. I think it was about 340, but not a great deal of noise to be fair. Um, weren't much of an atmosphere, even though, like I say, the crowd were pretty good. Um, so, can't really give a high score for Atmosphere here. I'm going to go for a 2 out of 5 for the Atmosphere. And finally we've got overall enjoyment. I've had a decent time to be fair. It's been a, uh, a good time. Um, like I say, a decent drive over, about an hour 20 in total. I uh, got to watch a very good first half of football. Um, like I say, good food, good company. We met, we, well, we didn't meet and we didn't know we were there. We saw two other Rovers fans there as well, which we stood with in the first half. And yeah, it's been a decent day overall as a neutral. So I'm going to go three out of five for overall enjoyment. So that gives Harrogate a total score of 16 out of 25, which puts them into 24th place in total. So we are level with a few teams, but the deciding factor then, if we are level, is overall enjoyment, which we are, once again, level with a few other teams. So the next deciding factor is the ground, which we are level with goal on. So the next deciding factor is pre-match, which we are ahead of goal on. So that is where they're going to finish. So it's been an enjoyable experience at Harrogate, really Quite like the setup to be fair, and um, it's good to get Harrogate ticked off the list and leave me just with four to go in NCL Division One. So, yep, once again, a good, another good um, Tuesday night at the football, and I'm going to leave the video there. So, thank you very much for watching. If you're new around here, please subscribe to the channel and like the video, whether you're old or new follower of the channel. Make sure to follow me on all my social medias. Pretty much everything is at Adam Gittings. PT, so make sure you give me a follow on there, see what is going on, um, not just behind the vlog, but just live as it happens. Um, so anyway, the next video on the channel is going to be at the weekend on Saturday. We have got Doncaster Rovers versus Forest Green Rovers. So until then, thank you very much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.